Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about this lock right here. Basically, how to uh, feel for the gates. And I had the video posted of how I did it, but as I was watching it myself, I noticed that, you know, it was poorly done. Mainly it was, you know, my first video, but I'll explain it with more detail this time. So, what I did was I grabbed a washer. Grabbed a washer, and it's gonna symbolize the dials. Okay, so you're gonna get your mini knife. Mine is from Peterson. Uh, you go to thinkpeterson.com, search uh, bypass tools, search bypass tools at thinkpeterson.com, and uh, you'll see it there. It's called the mini knife. It has real thin uh, metal so that you can get into those tight spaces on the to decode the locks. So basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna run the decoder over the top. You're gonna run that mini knife over the top of the of the uh, of the spool, and that is basically what you're gonna be doing when you when you stick that knife on the inside. You're feeling for those gates. I cut some gates on here so you can see what I mean. Some will be smaller than others. Those are the fake. You, what you're wanting to feel for are the larger gates. You want to feel for that actual drop. Okay. So what I like to do is I'll, the way I number them is one, two, three, and four. The way I like to do it is backwards. So I'll start from four, three, two, and then one. And I like the numbers or the windows, I like the windows to be to my right. So we'll get started with the first one, which is number four. So let's see, feel around. Okay, so the first one is six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move six over to the window. Now the next one, we're gonna feel for it. Try not to move the other dials. Okay, so now we, the next one is one. So we're gonna move one over to the window. Now we're gonna try for dial two. Okay, so the next one is seven. So we're gonna move seven over to the window. Now let's feel for the next one. Okay, so there it is, it's number eight. So we're gonna move that one over to the window. So my gate so far starting from one to four is eight, seven, one, six. So what I do next is I'm actually gonna push down on the button right here. And what I'll do is you wanna feel for the lighter turn, okay, while you're holding on. So you're gonna start from disc one and you'll notice that if I go to seven, it's harder for me to turn it. It's not, it's not too easy to switch from eight to seven. But you'll see that when I go from eight to nine, it just turns. So nine is gonna be my first number. So I go to disc two we will try going to eight, it's a lot harder. So that tells me that my next number is six. So one, we'll try two, it's a lot harder as you see. Whoops, it's a lot harder. So that tells me that my next number is zero. From six, it's hard to get to five, so that tells me that my next number is seven. And as you can see, it's opened. If you have the other DEF CON, the one that looks like this with a round, it'll have round windows on it, that's a lot more difficult to get into because it doesn't have uh, gates like this on the outside. The gates to this one are on, are in the center. They'll be in the center of the ring. They're not on the outside. So you won't be able to actually feel them if you're trying to read them as I did with the first one. What you would have to do with this one, let's say it's connected to a computer, 
you want to get a flat head screwdriver as small, as small as you can get you're wanting to fit it into this uh, flat head you know opening looking thing so what you're going to do is try and put some weight on the computer without breaking it or whatever it's locked to and you're wanting to put some pressure into it you want to push into it okay and you'll see that right now it's not going anywhere but as you push pressure into it start turning all the dials and you'll start noticing that it starts falling into place And you just want to start feeling for them. You can turn all the numbers whichever way you want to turn them. You're just basically feeling through them. And you'll start feeling it fall in. And that's literally how you want to feel for this one. There's really no other way. Um, I've seen pe some people try and, uh, you know, hold down on, on, on the button and, and go through numbers, you know, randomly but that didn't work for me. When I broke into this one, that was literally how I did it. I uh, put pressure onto that, uh, into that flat head area, and I just started messing with the dials, and it, the, this actually started falling in deeper and deeper. And once it fell in fully, you're able to turn clockwise and change the, change the code to whatever you want it to change it to. Once you get your, your code, you turn it counterclockwise and it'll pop right back out and that will be your code but thank you guys I hope uh, that helped a, a little bit into trying to get into these locks they're not easy they're not the easiest locks to get into um, some of them are but then they upgraded to this so if uh, I if you have a computer and it's use you use these kind of locks for it I strongly suggest that you get rid of it and use something with a tubular lock those are a lot harder to get into you know it'll take more time to try and decode it but yeah if you're if you guys have any questions just let me know and i'll, I'll uh, do what i can to help you out um my next video that i'll do is i'll actually get into this lock and i'll, I'll be more specific on how how to get that going but other than that thank you guys for watching and i hope you all have a good day all right bye guys